Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. And as you can see, we are actually back inside our colony, inside our formicarium. And there's a reason for that. There was an update and I'd like to thank uh, Lord of River Buffalo for letting me know. I think I did see it in the patch notes, but it promptly just escaped from my memory immediately. But he pointed out that there, or he or she, they pointed out that there have been two new challenge modes added to levels 2-1 and 2-2. Where if we go into challenge mode here, it adds an extra burrowed creature to the level. So we're going to have a go at that. Just looking around the rest of the comments we had last time. People of the internet said, wouldn't mind seeing me beat the Hungry Spider game. Now, if I hadn't had this other little bit of information I'll get to momentarily, I might have actually had a go at that. But during my last live stream when I was playing Ghost of a Tale, Slug Disco, the developers, actually popped into the stream to say hello. And uh, I asked to talk to them a bit about the Hungry Spider game and the such, because it was before my video was out. So I think I said I didn't do too well, but they did point out that the developers themselves have not completed Hungry Spider. So I don't feel too much shame with my performance there, because if the developers can't do it, then yeah, that's fine. That seems quite reasonable that I didn't manage to do it either, although I do think I did quite bad, but that's a, that's a, a side that is, isn't it? As well as that, we had, uh, I, I, I've no idea how to pronounce your name, I'm so sorry, uh, Nigel, what's Nigel? It's Nigel spelt weird with a silent K. Cool, okay, Nigel uh, said, love the videos and also do Rising Tide and Queen of the Hill. And Sylvester said, play free mode, uh, free play even, and Rising Tide. Well, luckily, I can cover three of those. Two people said Rising Tide, and then we had Lord of River Buffalo suggesting the challenge mode. So Rising Tide covers all three of those, doesn't it? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to have a go at Rising Tide and see how we do. So I will put it on hard. So I'm not expecting to win the level, and we will also put it on challenge mode as well. And the reason I'm putting it on hard is because we've done medium, been there, done that. Might as well give ourselves a bit of a challenge, right? Based on how hard the game can be, we're probably going to uh, struggle a little bit. We'll put on the slow mortar uh, areas, uh, ranged units, that's what I was looking for. Slow mortar ranged units. Just because people have previously suggested that they are the best ones to go for. We do normally go for the fast, but people have said on other videos, the slow ones are better. So... Let's give it a go. So we need to get immediately out down to that lower section of tide. Straight away. Harvesting some of that lovely, lovely food. Right, so no messing, no messing, no messing. So I did hear it actually takes longer to burrow out of here as well. We need to go over here, get that food. That's got enemies, enemies. Is it? Is the zoom locked in more than I remember? The tide is out. But it won't stay that way. The ants must so you guys can go down there and get that stuff. We, can. Um, we, can. we need to look at building. Oh my word! Where am I going to build it? For this colony, the queen's choice of home could not have been worse. Oh this dear. stretch of beach is peppered with burrowed tiger beetle larvae. They lie, jaws primed, with only their armored. Ah, uh, yeah. Only their armored heads visible from the sand. Anything that stumbles into their pit is speared and dragged below. It sounds horrible, doesn't it? I think if we do that, we can make another chamber here. I think we do that, we can make another one up there as well, can't we? So let's get working on some... Does that say 60? Yeah, let's start off with the melee ones. And we'll turn one of these into a food one. We are also going to need to get those working on opening that up as well, aren't we? As soon as possible. Alright, let's get this onto its own little one over here. Uh, oh, it took too long. They've already filled up with food straight away. Look. There is food to be found all over the beach, but the wood ants must be cautious and choose their trails carefully. Tiger beetles frequent the higher ground, and they will make quick work of any wood ant that strays too close. So I'm going to go send this one guy out to get this little bit of food that's nearby, and then we'll look at getting down here. Food stores are full. Need to be paying more attention to that. Okay, almost got enough for another one. There we go. So we do need to look at building a food store as well pretty soon. So let's just do that now, get that done. What does it cost? 5 and 15, 25, 35 that costs altogether. It's not too much. Just a few bits of food out there they can still go for or let them go for that. I'm sure the zoom level's been changed. I'm sure he's been able to zoom out more than this. Maybe that's just me. Right. 
This colony oh. must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support. Come on, headphones down, because as always, the game is a little louder than I anticipate. Yes, we know about that. Uh, range would have low health when we cut through quickly. Yes, they have support. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. We know all about that, don't we? Right. So there's no other easy food source within here, is there? There are some of these non-easy ones, protected food sources. We're not too worried about those. Are we going to get enough to get this last one done? Are they still... Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Right then. So we have our first seven. So we need to start sending them down here as far as they can go. What is... Th Those are the burrows, aren't they? Those have got to be the burrows. So we'll definitely send them over here first. Yeah, I don't recognize them. It's got to be the burrows they mentioned. Hopefully these guys will stay out of trouble a little bit. Can't really afford to have them. Dance out here. They have also come to take advantage of the buffet provided by the sea. Territorial disputes will invariably favor the colony with the greater numbers. So far, that's probably not us. What does this say? Stray wood ants will often gather food if they see it. Okay. And then we need to stick that guy yes, must fight. over here. Hopefully that's only one or two. They should have taken care of them. Or well, it is two versus one of them. Two now, but... Hmm. Okay. Is that another one of theirs coming in? I think it is. Oh my god, we're getting swallowed. Oh, they are properly. I wonder if they've changed the AI there. So that the ants come and back up their buddies a bit more. So they certainly never used to. This guy should be able to take care of. This guy's dead, unfortunately. Oh, and these guys are now also dead. Okay, right, let's... The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. This is a bit of a problem. This is a bit of a problem. Alright, we're going to have to try and go for it whilst they've disappeared again. See, they don't trip them, and I bet if they go near that be a beetle somewhere, they don't trip the beetles either. Oh, immediately into a fight again. Oh, I need to avoid this. Is there a closer food source for now? I mean, there is a little... Oh, no, there isn't. Hello. Really could do with them going down there. Because right now, we are struggling a little bit, aren't we? Is that another one coming out straight away? I'm looking at you, dude. No, I think we're okay. If we can get back some of this food, lads, that would be fantastic. Well, there we go. Here we go. Look, what are you doing? So how long have we got to this first level gets flooded, do you think? And I do want to see the tiger beetles in action, the burrow and beetles, but I just can't afford to... <laughs> Lose one of my ants right now. Our oh, tide rises. It's already there. Look. The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. I am going to struggle here, aren't I? Well, I come and get this bit over here then, and hopefully don't trigger those. No, it should be okay. Well, there goes the first level. Definitely don't have enough of an army to really take on any of the other food sources at the moment, so... Yeah, a little bit. A little bit concerned about this. Just a little bit. This is a little seed down here. Go get this. Yeah. And then you back off a second, and we'll have to decide what to do with you. Do we try and take on this down here, whatever it happens to be? the wrong one, isn't it? Yep, that's what we need. I'm not sure I can take on those ants, and I definitely can't take on those beetles. Okay, let's do that then. Let's have a crack at that. Let's bring them all down here. This could very quickly be the end of our game, but let's... I think we're going to have to try, because the next tide's coming in, and we do not have enough ants. The water is rising quickly. 
the ants must head for higher ground. To really take much on. So let's come down here. Oh my god, no. Wasn't expecting a big there boy. Intruders in the nest. Do you know what? I might bring him back up to the queen. And then let the queen spawn her royal guard. That's what I'm thinking. We can't hatch any more. That's going to be the only way we survive this. The queen is in imminent danger. The colony is starving. There I is know it is. Food to feed the new I know. They haven't gone for the queen so far. The little one's dead. The big one's still going. The queen's taking a little bit of damage, but not too much. And we are beating that faster than the queen's getting hurt, but they are taking out... I see they... It is taking out all of our workers now. So there goes the queen, taking some damage, as you can see. The queen is in imminent danger. But in a minute, she will spawn her royal guard, and we'll get free hatching for everything as well. It is there, of course. Next tide is coming in, so we are definitely done with outside for this night. The tide has almost night. reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. Where are you going, mate? Oh, you're confused, and now you're dead. Where are her royal guard? I was relying on royal guard, and they never arrived. The queen is in imminent danger. The queen has been slain. Yes, she has. The choice of nest site was overambitious, and ultimately led her colony to extinction. Well, there's the thumbnail for the video, at least. <laughs> Wowzers. Yeah, that was a lot more challenging than I anticipated. How on earth? Oh my God, you just beat it. Good job. Good the job, little, mou a little mouse. Little mouse. Little fall. little ant. As the temperature drops outside, not too... I guess I'll have the extra food. Oh, that, that, I don't get to choose. That's just what I got. The extra food. Yeah, so hard mode is very hard. How on earth are you supposed to do anything with that? Honestly, I just don't have a clue. Right, let's do uh, normal difficulty and challenge mode on. Oh, hello, why didn't that work? Oh, I didn't do the... Uh... Do that. All right, let's give it another go then, shall we? Wow. Wowzers. How do people get good at this? How could you... Do... What's the hardest? Is it called like insane or something like that? How on earth would you manage to complete that? No idea. No idea at all. Slightly different layout, this but not much different. Oh, no, it's not, I don't think, is it? Has laid her Let's go get that. Brood in a burrow near the sea. Let's get rid of that. Is just on the outskirts of the beach. And those Perfect two. vantage point for scavenging hapless morsels washed in by the tide. Oh, of course we can. I keep doing that, but there's no uh, nothing there, is there? But it won't stay that way. The ants must make haste and stockpile what they can, while they can. Unfortunately for this colony, the Queen's choice of home could not have been worse. This stretch of beach is silly queen burrowed tiger beetle larvae. They lie, jaws. I'm pretty sure the layout for the enemies is definitely the same, isn't it? Yeah, that doesn't change. It's not randomized, so we are still very screwed with our internal food sources. There is food to be found all over the beach. But the wood ants must be cautious and choose their trails carefully. Tiger beetles frequent the higher ground, and they will make quick work of any wood ant that strays. To There's a little bit of food outside. Again, we'll focus on that straight away. Yeah, so only two tiger beetles there. So maybe that's basically what the difficulty determines, the amount of enemies around. Maybe. Maybe. Let's get another one built. Let's also start on our food store, because we are going to need it. They got all the food from down there? They haven't got all the food from down there, no. Well, that'd be a little emergency, I guess. Another one coming in? There it is. Not sure why the worker ants aren't going down here and... Getting this food, that's what I want you to do. If I tell you to do that, will you grab some food on the way back? You will, okay, there we go. Got a way of sort of forcing it then. And another one, come on. 
Two more food, please. Thank you very much. How are we doing out here? Almost done out here. A few more bits and pieces left. I need to think about other... I need to leave a space. So this one would be, let me think, not there. There. If we want to grow it, I'm thinking, if we want to grow it, then we need to leave a little bit. Ah, in fact, no. There, because if we need to grow both of those, we need to have three in between them. Yes, yes, yes. I remembered. All right, there are our first seven of those done. I'll leave that there. So I think we're going to start sending these down to get this food down here and hoping that they uh, can survive further than the other ones did. Not sure we have many other options, really, do we? There are other wood ants out here. They have also come to take advantage of the buffet provided by the sea. Territorial disputes will invariably favour the colony with the greater numbers. Ah, uh, don't I just know it, mate. Oh, we're already in a fight, that's why he's saying it. But we're outnumbering them massively. Ah, uh, but they are, they do come from quite far away to join in, don't they? seem to be very weak at the moment, don't they? They really do take... He actually managed to kill one. It was three on one from the beginning, and he still managed to take one of them out. That's insane how much health they've got. They must be upgraded. Must be upgraded. And we can start building our first ranged wor uh, attackers, even, not workers. So let's start doing that. Those who, where's the next one gonna go? Like here ish? That looks about right, doesn't it? Yeah, I reckon so. So, one up there, one over there, and then we can expand across here as well. So, not much food coming in at the moment because we are getting into these little pesky fights, and they're gonna beat us, I think, there. Interesting. So, how do I. How did I ever get started in this before? That's an interesting question. Send them down for these? No, because then that thing comes up there and that would absolutely destroy us. And they should be far enough away that they're not going to be too much of a concern. Yeah. But we need to actually get this food back is the problem. They can get past this little crossroads. This seems to be the where these ants cross over, this other wood ant colony. So those two should be fine. One little buddy. Yeah, he's gonna be fine, that's okay. Now is that some of them coming back now? Yeah, you're gonna be a problem. You'll get past. You are going to get into a fight, mate. The ants will fight to the death. What? That's crazy. The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. So we can't go down there. So we kind of have to go up here. The will be washed out to sea. Which is going to be awkward. Entirely sure I've got the capability of uh, of doing it, but yeah, not hugely sure what else we could do. I'm sure they. I don't remember the ant colonies crossing over quite as much across the roadways or pathways. It's going for our second ranged attacker. Don't get too excited.
Right. A little bit more food coming in. Oh, another fight down there. Oh, it's two on two, but again, look at the insane amounts of health they have. No, he's dead. He's dead. Come over here. In fact, come up here. Get away from them. I need at least a couple of people before we can really... Uh, like I think I need like four ants to actually go down there and get food. So if they do get attacked, they'll be the okay. Rising quickly. Okay, so we're not going to go for that anymore. Breath. Let's go over here then. So we'll go here first. Let them group together a bit. In fact, that guy's going to come over and spoil the party anyway, isn't he? And then we'll send them over there. So they're doing slightly better than last time. Not a huge amount, but slightly better. So that's about to rise in now. Two, one, there it goes. And when I've actually got a few ants, I'll sacrifice a few to see these tiger beetles in action. But right now, not much of an option. And that's going to be three on one, so that should be okay. Yeah, those ranged ones do a huge amount of damage, don't they? I don't really... If we go now, they'll kill that guy. And then they'll take that. Unless any of these come in to join the party? No, we're okay. We're okay. Right. There's a bit more there. Grab that little bit there. And then come down here. Grab some of this stuff. The tide has almost reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. Yes, they are. So we're going to go a little bit of food over here we can try going for of this... Whatever they're called. Can't remember. Not a scarab beetle. Not a tiger beetle. Whatever it is. As long as that keeps out of our way, you should be okay there. Up there, there's a few things, but they are, yeah, they are very close. Can't really deal with that, can we? So there it is, there is the beach completely flooded for the first time. So we'll finish off this little bit of food here. And I'd love to say we'll start going down here and taking this out, but, 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 we are going to get hermit the crabs and the such like coming in. Soon night will fall. As the temperature drops outside, nocturnal creatures begin to awaken. It would be wise for the roofer colony to stay underground. Oh, I know it would be. Hope that their nest remains hidden until the morning. Probably shouldn't have built that one, because now we don't have any food in stock. And in fact, we won't even be, even be able to hatch that last one, will we? Silly, silly, silly. Overground, nocturnal hermit mm. crabs. Hermit crabs. Hermit crabs rule over the sands at night. These creatures yeah, are so there's scandals. this down here, which we Searching know is not the easiest thing the to beat. We could really do but with those two hatching. incursion of Formica Rufa colonies into this area, this particular community of crabs has developed a taste. Here's the first one. And flesh. Da -da -dun, da -da -dun, da -da 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 da starving. There's not enough food to feed. I know, mate, food. but in a second, we'll take out this this son of a gun over here. Crab has found its way into the nest. The ants must mount a swift and decisive defense. Right, he's about to kill one. One of ours have gone, pretty much. There it is. I can't see what the rest of their health is because it's just a mess down there. <laughs> right, he's hermited up, but here we go. That last little bit should be okay. There it is. Right, if you can all get harvest in that food, that'd be brilliant. There are some more scuttling around nearby. Right, there we go. Let's put a bit more food in. So they should have hatched down there now. Yes, they have. Perfect. Perfection. So we've got a little bit of spare food, not a huge amount. I think I probably want to come over this way, don't I? So 
Not sure I want to do anything quite yet. Not really any food within reach, is there? Could go and start a fight with some hermit crafts. I don't know if that's the best idea in the world. Is there still a guy coming for us? You coming for us, mate? Well, you try it. Just you try it. I think he might be. Get ready, boys. I gotta get you all back a little bit. That means you. Is he coming? Yeah, there he is. A group of hermit crabs. I was going to try and keep him back a bit, then that one was like, nah, mate, front line. Ah, we've got two of them now, which is a bit more of a problem, but we do have 90 food in stock. And there goes one of them. See, what are you doing? Yeah, get it, go over here. There goes two of them. Three of them. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Four of them. I think one of them's dead. We're definitely going to be okay. There we go. Right, get harvesting. our food stores up a little bit. Time to upgrade our food store, maybe? The workers have done all they can to improve these food stores. Just make sure we can get all of those hermit crabs in there. Yes. Excellent. I don't think he's coming for us. No, he's not. So is it worth having a crack at this down here? Do you know, I might chuck in a cheeky save. Oh, there isn't a cheeky save. There isn't a cheeky save. I'm thinking of uh, the free play mode, aren't I? Ooh. Ooh, okay. I also don't know how long the night's going to last. I mean, I reckon I can probably take it out. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Nope, don't. Cancel. Play the order. More hermit crabs have found the nest. Wow, they come out of nowhere, didn't they? Everyone back over there. Ignore that. Don't go down there. We do need to start building our next set of... Uh, Hacker, so I'll get two of those done. For now, I'll stick them in the same group. I will separate them eventually. Yeah, they are kicking our ass a little bit. That one's health is almost going up. Do you see that? Do they get health for attacking? These guys don't seem to be. Trick of the light, maybe. Trick of the light. Oh, there's one, that's good. So they are smashing our food in. There's another one very close to our nestlet. What's he doing? I think he's gone by. I think we're okay. So we're down to one of them. We're all good now. There we go, yes. Harvest, 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 lads. Let's do it. Oh, no, there's still one going. I thought they were all dead. Now harvest, harvest, harvest. Get that food in. Create those last two tiles as well. I've got to remember now which ones are the blues. This is the blue. The sort of bluish grey is the blue, and then the brown is the yellow. Okay. We'll have to probably do another one as well, don't we? Let's do that. How's it going out here? Still lots of hermit crabs. 
I'm tempted to try and go for these down here again, but uh, if more appear all of a sudden, if we do it now, while it's quiet, maybe we'll be okay. The tide is receding and a new day dawns. Stop the them. hunters of the night return to the safety of the shadows, and the ants can begin to lay down new trails. The harvest must go on. Do it. Everyone pile out there and get that food. Oh, is that not the right one? No. Okay, come down to the bottom then. What path do you take to get down here? All the way over here. There's a few bits there. There's a few bits there. Been... Oh, there are some tiger beetles very close. I wonder if they'll come into play there. In fact... We're going to be in trouble with these, I think. Yeah, there we go, look. Look at those. An ant has fallen victim to a beetle lava trap. They must watch their step. The voracious predators are difficult to see and lightning fast. And when they're burrowed, look, the ants can't attack them anymore. So take a bit of damage and then squirrel away, and that's that. So let's maybe, in fact, pop everyone here and just try and take these ones out. More ants have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. No, don't go. Don't go. Oh, you've got some food. Some of you have got some food. The other ones haven't. Come back here. Where are you going? Made a terrible mistake there. Oh, almost. I will basically want to know if we get food from them. This guy's going to come out in a second. So is it worth hanging around here? Hermit crabs. Beach tiger beetle larvae will only attack when ants are alone and cannot be attacked whilst burrowed. Only attack when they're alone. You can either bait them out with single ants or ignore them and hope they do not kill too many. Okay. In that case... Did they just go again? No, I thought they did. In that case, then, come down here, grab this food. Oh, go on, go on. Yes. But they are worth no food, so there is no point in trying to attack them. That's good to know, and also horrible. What a horrible fact. So you're going to clean that out really quickly down here, aren't you? There's some stuff further down, which means you can ignore those tiger beetles, although those might come into play. Not sure what their sort of range is. Oh, God, those are coming into play now as well. Okay. They're all over the shop, and aren't they? Fallen victim to a beetle lava trap. You probably don't need to keep they saying must it. Watch their step. The voracious predators are difficult to see and lightning fast. They are not very difficult to see, they are quite obvious. Yeah, they've got a big range on them, haven't they? Mainly, it's going to hold things More up. Ants have been caught by That's the problem. Larvae lying in wait. I think they need to turn down the uh, frequency of those vocal updates. Yeah, they're really horribly placed this time. Really horribly placed. As in the larvae, that is. Oh, see, that other one jumped out then. Because they're always alone is the problem. Hmm, not getting much food back at the moment, unfortunately. And now you're going to come in for a fight as well. And there's another one in there. Yeah, this is awkward. This is very, very awkward. See, and they don't care because he's far enough away. Now, is he going to count as alone enough for this? Uh... Yep, because he's speeding up there, look. So I think probably what we need to do is bait them, isn't it? We do need to get them out of the way, I think. Not sure the best way of actually doing that, you know. I keep hoping this one will disappear soon, but he doesn't seem to want to go, does he? 
meanwhile, these are stopping basically and all of my attempts. All right, mate, chill trap. out. I'm well they aware. Must watch their step. The voracious predators are difficult to see and lightning fast. Yeah, they are very, very awkward. And you should definitely get some food for them. The amount of pain they cause they you should definitely get food from them see that little guy i think the enemy ants should definitely get attacked as well it's very unfair More ants have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait so what i can do is hold them back And when they come in, run them forward. It's going to take a year and a half, isn't it? And then with these enemy ones coming in as well, they're causing all sorts of problems. All right, back off, boys. Yeah, and there we go again. And he's healed. Oh, he hasn't healed. He's just holding my aunt's health. I see. Well, it's almost one of them gone. That's something. If we can get rid of these, I'll be a lot more comfortable with uh, carrying on. Because right now, we're basically getting no food at all. The amount of ants we're losing... Barely compensating for the amount of uh, damage we're taking. Right, we've got a little huddle coming up now, so if we head down there, they should attack the first one, hopefully. No. Ah, oh, see, the tide's already right, and we didn't even get a chance. The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surf will be washed out to sea. Oh, you should do. Yeah. There we go. The beetle larvae hiding in their burrows are eating well. Every ant lost to them diminishes the colony. But what now? Would it go down there and face these other two ones? That bottom level's about to flood. We're going to have to go up here and take out these ants. That's what we're going to do. Because it's just not worth trying to take these ones on. Not at all. So the only thing you could do, really, is you could tell your ants not to fight. So they're just gathering food and then running. Maybe that's the best option for this. Oh my god, there's a proper little barney coming on down here, look. A lot of food basically gone down from where we started. And it's going to go down further because these guys are really tough. Okay, so hopefully you'll start getting a little bit of food now, although the tide's going to be rising soon enough. Somehow you missed us. Blimey, don't know how that happened. The water is rising quickly. There it comes. Yes, must head for higher ground. So where next? Over there, I guess. We, again, we don't want to risk the tiger beetles. That's the problem, because they're just too damaging. Just too damaging. So we're going to go over here instead. Oh my god, get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, thought we were going to lose them for a second there. Got a little bit of food actually coming in now, now that we haven't got the tiger beetles constantly taking us out. The ants must fight. So let's get a couple more workers built. Are those all? Oh, those are all enemies. Oh, that guy's so dead. In fact, all of these are dead. Ah, no, because some of them ran away. Ha ha ha. Let's grab the food and run. They're only worth five food if they die, so it's not the end of the world if one dies. I'd rather you got some food and ran away, little buddies. So yeah, I wonder if turning off their attack would actually help, because they just wouldn't have bothered trying. They were just 
grab the food and run. Maybe we'll try that in a while and see what happens. Maybe come down here and grab some of this easy food. Ah, yeah, only a couple of little bits because the, the tide's coming in. Reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. Oh, don't get into a fight. We have not got time for a fight. Let's turn off their fight response. Nope, no, 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 no. Left it too late. Come on. There we go. And then we're in a bit of a pickle again. So don't. There, there are still more beetles up there. They're going to guess come down this way. We're certainly close enough to be a problem. And down this way, tiger beetles. And uh, tiger beetle larvae and tiger beetles, in fact. So we could try running up here and grabbing some of these. There is another Ooh, food creature roaming the sands tonight. Arctosa littoralis. A what? A beach wolf spider. Ah, the spider. In the day, these spiders retreat to the shade provided by larger plants on the edge of the beach. Yeah, so if they don't Once fight, the they just grab gone, it and run. Look, that probably works out a lot better, doesn't it? Night feast. So let's get these down here in a protective kind of area. We can almost certainly, if we... Yeah, let's just do this. Oh. Wolf spider has found the nest entrance. Oh dear. Only small, but her venom will quickly incapacitate any ant that tries to fight alone. Oh, there's no big the one this time, is it? Because it's on easy mode. So I'm just going to bundle around the queen because we can't really trust the spider. It's just going to run around doing all sorts of stuff. Need to get enough hits in to kill it, really. Hopefully, some of these will start attacking these two before they start attacking the queen. That'd be wonderful. If you could do that, please and thank you. The queen is in imminent danger. I know she is. She's a bit surrounded at the moment, isn't she? But I think she's doing okay. She's taking a little bit of damage, but not too much, and everything's almost dead. Look. There we go. Right. Let's. I turned off their attack. Oh my god, and I never turned it back on. That's very foolish. Let's send the twos down here to get some food. The ones can hang around the queen for protection. And that should be enough to get us here easily. To complete these two over here. Oh, I can't expand that one. I've only just noticed, but that one can't actually get any bigger. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Hmm. The rest are okay, but... Yeah, maybe we'll concentrate on little chambers then, rather than... Big ones. What do these say? Uh, da 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 And the beach tiger beetle, yes. That's fine. That is all fine and dandy. There's a little bit more food down Another there. The wolf spider has entered the nest. This one is large, fast, and voracious. So let's send the twos back up there. I think. I think we've got the, the food down there anyway. The danger. So I'm thinking probably small chambers is the way to go for this level at the moment. Then. So we've got another one down there we can build. Hopefully it doesn't kick that off. Do another one over here. And another one here. In fact, we could probably turn that into a chamber, couldn't we? Yeah, that'd make that a chamber as well. Let's do that. So we start taking out... Let's go for that. Make these two the next ones, in fact. No, let's do this one.
Do the middle bit. Oh, I like to start in the middle. There we go. Thank you very much. Upgrade the food stores as well, perhaps? We're going to upgrade the first one, certainly. In fact, is it worth doing both of these? And then we can get all four of these growing simultaneously. I mean, the shape of them doesn't really matter unless we're about to upgrade them, does it? What we can do is get the speed up tiles built. So we know that's More all good. Spiders have found the nest. I'll do. Yep, fine, whatever. Second, they both got their attack status on. It's only the second night, and this video is already 47 minutes long. It does tend to last a while, this game, doesn't it? But no matter. As long as we're all enjoying it, that's the main thing. spider there. I was going to say, what's that red square down there? The queen is in imminent danger. She's not. Ah, food stores are full. I'm working on that. Don't you worry about that, sunshine. In fact, let's just get two. So everything's nice and even. And that one goes over there, and that one goes over there. Now we've got two equal-sized armies of ants is exactly what I want. So we've probably got enough to look at going like down here, don't we? We send them both down for now. If the wolf spider appears, they tend to dart around a bit fast. We should be okay. Oh, big ones though, aren't they? Wasn't expecting that. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Is that an ant queen? It is. So we're going to feast on an ant queen. Fair enough. One's down. Oh yeah, they actually get the absolutely get their ass kicked, don't they? So send the twos down there, and then the ones when that one is dead, we will send back up here to protect the queen if something does arrive. At least the night's been a bit productive this time. So we've actually got something from it. So where else have we got food in here? Over here there's a little big pile up there and up there. So another three areas to go if we want them. That's probably going to be the next As one, the isn't it? As the sun rises over a new day, the tide recedes. The nocturnal creatures return to the shadows and once again the harvest must continue. Yes, it must. Right then, boys and girls. Why did that not lock in? Right, there we go. It's the final level. This is the final level. Right, so there's a little bit up here. Go over there. Don't appear to have any tiger beetles down here, so we'll just... Oh, spoke too soon. So what I'm thinking is, we will try... Oh my god, they are absolutely everywhere, actually. Um, An ant has fallen victim to a beetle lava trap. They must watch their step. The voracious predators are difficult to see and lightning fast. I'm going to try turn on oh my... They are absolutely everywhere. Holy crap, devs. Really ramped that up, didn't you? Now I'm going to try turning off their fight response. And just letting them, letting them go at it. Just letting them go at it. More ants have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. And we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping, because it's mainly tiger beetles, we will inevitably lose some. But hopefully enough will get by Ants with food. Fight. It will be okay. I'm not fighting them, mate. I'm not fighting them. I'm not falling for it. So far, terrible plan. We've also got enough ants that hopefully it will stop them triggering. Yeah, because there's so many around, it's not. they're not going to go for them, look. Oh, okay. <laughs> Proved me wrong on that now. No, well, I'm supposed to move the food closer nonetheless. 
So we are losing food quite badly at the moment. There are two right outside the nest. Look, that's quite horrible. Yeah, this plan is not working at all, is it? Not working at all. The food's gone up a little bit, but we're just losing too many ants to these pesky bloody creatures. So these two in particular, we need to take out. He's still there, isn't he? Come on now. The beetle larvae hiding in their burrows are eating well. And there's one Every gone. And lost to them diminishes the colony. I know, mate. I know. I'm trying, but they are tricky. Trying to get this one with this many ants around is a bit of a problem as well. <laughs> okay then. So where is there which isn't entirely populated with tiger beetles? Down here isn't too bad, is it? Let's send some down there. That's kind of a waste of time. Going down here at all is a waste of time. There's not even any food. More ants Ew. have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. Now that's a tiger beetle, mate. That's an entirely different thing. Let's take that out. At least that's food. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we focus on the tiger beetles and... Oh my god, there are so many larvae. It's impossible. It is genuinely impossible. We are just losing food still. Look, how are we supposed to make food in this situation? big dude to come back up here. Oh, where's he gone? I'll take a little un. I'll take a little un. Oh my god, why did you go that close? Why did you go that close in the first place? So if there's enough of us there, if I turn off the food gathering of the ones and put them right in the middle, that's an idea, isn't it? Turn off the food gathering of one of them How is that? The huge tiger beetle has been defeated. There are many more of them, but this is a milestone moment for the colony. They cannot be bullied by sheer size alone. Oh, they're trying. Got a little bit of extra food now. The ant has fallen victim to a beetle lava trap. They must watch their steps. That's fine. I actually want you to get in here. Get in here and stop and them from, from taking more. That's what I want. Get right in the middle. Come on now. Oh my god, that's going to hold them up even more. More ants have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. Right, come in the middle. Come on now. So I'm hoping the ones will stop the larvae from even arriving. The twos will gather the food. That's the plan there. I personally think that is brilliant. When we've got that food there, we can send the twos down here to get this bit as well. I'm happy with that. That's actually a really good plan. And the twos can also go up there and get that, but for now, we'll focus on these. So there's a fair bit of food there. There's 200 food in him. So we've got enough food we can think about increasing the size of our armies as well. still down there as well actually a little bit of food there not much but a little bit
all the twos are obviously ferrying back and forth. So the tide's coming the in, tide but we're not too in. bothered. We're not going to focus on the lower levels. The lower levels are too flooded. heavily populated for us to worry about. Surge will be washed out to sea. Yeah, so I think this is definitely my go-to fix for the tiger beetle larvae. So we'll, what we'll do if we come across them again, I think, is we'll just have like a group of like seven that will just sit the on them and stop fight. them from. Uh, who are you fighting? Or it must be like a little enemy ant. Stop them from getting attacked. That's the plan. So he's basically done. So let's send the twos down here. And they should be far enough away from any tiger beetle larvae to get caught. Should be. Yep. We'll leave the ones there protecting that. Once the twos have cleared off, an ant has fallen victim to a beetle. Don't worry about trap. it. Twos, must watch don't fight. Step. The voracious predators are difficult to see. Food stores are full. Fast. I need to deal with that. I didn't think they'd go close enough to uh, make much of a difference, but apparently I'm wrong on that count, aren't I? If we send More them down there a little by bit. Tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. The water is rising quickly. The ants must We're head still okay for around. the moment. Are you still going to go close enough to it to make a difference? You are. You are so stupid. You are so stupid. We may as well. You're already there now, aren't you, you pillocks? Right, so that's the next level flooded. So... Let's go storm these guys. In fact, we won't go that close because I can see there's another tiger beetle there. So we'll probably lose a couple to these here. That's fine. We can live without that. What are you doing? What are you doing, you madman? The battle has begun. We can turn on the number one's gathering now as well. I don't think we're too bothered about that anymore. Grab those last little couple of bits there. And then. Well, there's not really much we can do, is there? I'm not sure there's actually much we can do. But I think we're probably okay, the aren't we? We've reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. So, let's all head back inside. And what we'll do instead is we'll head over here. Go after this. Leave the twos there protecting that. We'll just ignore outside now. I think we've got everything we need. So we'll get this little bit of food that's in here. Use that to upgrade a few ants. I don't think we'll get many, but we'll get a few. Send the ones down here to fight. Oh, okay. And another one. If you don't mind a little workaround. The tide is in, and soon night will fall. And they're both attacking the and gathering, that's outside, fine. Nocturne and the ones down there. Begin to awaken. It will be wise for the roofer colony to stay underground and hope that they That's a bit more food. Until the morning. So let's start upgrading. couple here and there. Once they've sucked all the food out of there, we'll send them up to these two as well. A wolf spider has found the nest. That's fine. I'm not too bothered about that. Although there are the three of them. Is in imminent danger. I think the ones are probably yeah just gathering down there for no reason. We'll send them up here. Oh, they are hammering my ants. Look at them. My food go down. Definitely do have taken a few of those out. OK, 
Okay, that's the first lot done. So let's let's come off here. Oh, lots of food come back though. Look at that, loads of food. Can't upgrade any of that anymore. I've got all the middle ones done. I think we do, don't we? Yeah. So we'll start doing a couple of other ones. And really, this isn't too important, the upgrading. It's mainly, it'll just sort of see us through the night, really. That's all we're worrying about here. So the ones can do is coming up here. No, no, carry on. No, 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 come back. Come back. The only thing I could have done, really, in addition to this, was I should have probably built another worker cha uh, nest chamber. The, in the, nest. the larvae must be protected. So again, we'll just send the ones up there. They'll deal with those tiny little, uh, whatever they are. Forgotten. Scorpion? No. Can't remember. Whatever they are. They'll deal with them, they'll go get the food job done. We need to look at upgrading some more, don't we? And that's all of the twos done. Oh no, all the top ones is what I meant to say, not all of the two. Doesn't make any sense. It's a bit more food coming in there, that is wonderful. More hermit crabs have found the nest. Now, hermit crabs are a bit of a different problem just because they are so tough. So we'll get everyone down there fighting fighting them. Fighting them, he says, slipping into his Devonshire accent. Is that four of them? One, two, three, no, that's five of them, I think, isn't there? That's a lot of hermit crabs. Look at these mortars, look, absolutely smashing them. And the food just keeps going up. Food just keeps going up. Right, let's do the bottom ones. Not too much, just in case we do have a sudden massacre in advance. I think we're going to be okay there, aren't we? I think we're pretty much done. Yeah, see, the health does go up when they do something. Send the ones back up there to finish that off. Not that there's much there. It's also a little bit down there, of course, isn't there? Twos will busily be harvesting the hermit crabs. Still lots of food there, I'm guessing. So everything from up there looks to be. This is very quickly send you down there to finish that bit off. Won't take too long, there's only 30 food there, but best to be done with it. A huge wolf spider has found the colony. This one is a mother, and her recently had hey, not do that. followed her into the nest. These ants are facing an overwhelming infestation. See how this goes. I could do with the mother coming over to the queen, really. It's gonna turn off their food gathering. So I saw a few of them harvesting the hermit crabs rather than going to the queen to protect her. That's why our food went up quite significantly during that fight. The queen is in imminent danger. She will be fine, I think. Yeah, it's absolutely getting sm oh, it's helped them quite a lot there. Used its green uh, whatever it is. Seen a bit of that during the Hungry Spider game. Oh, I thought my queen died then, you know. When she did the little jerky movement, I thought she was dead. God, that was horrible. Right. Back on the food. Did you take care of this? You did not. Go do that. We could do with upgrading some more. Let's do that one as well while we're there. That'll take no time at all. There we go. One's come with me. There is one more little piece of food inside we can worry about. Just the two, just the two, and just the two. Oh, that one we missed. 
and those ones. And those ones, okay. And we'll see what lies in wait here. Just the one big one. That's the nest. fine. The larvae must be protected. It's fine when they actually start getting there. Thank you guys. Thank you for joining in the party. So they'll be fine up there. I have no concerns whatsoever. A little bit of food going spare, so we'll uh, upgrade a few of those. Oh, there As we go. The, the night is over. The local predators oh. pose less and less of a danger. Eventually, they will be displaced from this area entirely. Despite the dangers of the beach, it seems this intrepid queen's gamble to establish her colony here has ultimately secured her success. Seems like, doesn't it? Seems like. Well then, there we go. That was... Oh, what do I want? Probably extra raw jelly? No. Extra ter... No. I can't build any more workers, can I? I'm going to go with extra raw jelly. Because I think there are more upgrades we can get as well. So we'll do that. Uh, we will end the level there. So that is the look... At the challenge mode of Rising Tide. So hopefully... You all enjoyed that, Nigel, uh, Sylvester, and Lord of River Buffalo. Interesting new Hopefully you enjoyed that look at the oh, challenge mode of Rise and Tide again. Does seem to be a bit of a fan favourite, Rise and Tide. So yeah, our workers are still maxed out. In fact, our, our, our workers, are, I meant to say soldiers are maxed out, but our workers are maxed out as well. Do you get more when you dig out more tiles? And obviously this is a terribly designed colony. Really, really bad. So we're going to have to stick with the small chamber throughout because we have not planned it well at all. Let's just see if we dig a few more tiles out, if we do get more up here. I've still left everyone outside, have I? Yes. God, they are everywhere, look. Why is no one getting this food? Come and get this food, everyone. Any more elsewhere? Oh, that looks about it, doesn't it? Send the trees down as well, shall we? Why not? Let's have a party down there. So we dug out some more territory and our numbers didn't increase for the actual former caring, but we do have lots and lots of food and some royal jelly, in fact. So let's look at our upgrade abilities here. Options, I should say. Not many are there. So we can get one more upgrade for our melee attackers and we can get some upgrades for our workers. There is also the level 3 upgrade as well. How much does this cost? It costs 80 and we have 118 so I think I'll probably get that. That's going to be very useful for us. What have we got here? Deal an additional 1 venom damage or deal an additional 0.75 immediately. Ooh. 1 over half a second or 0.75 immediately. That's interesting. Ah, target takes extra damage from via the venom attacks. Well, we're going to go with the venom then, aren't we? Quite simply. Easy option. Thank you very much. Awesome. And we've got 23 left. I'm assuming these cost a bit more. Only just. Only just, but they do. So another upgrade for those. That does mean we can upgrade some things. Where is our worker here? Tush, tush, tush. Really, really, really terribly designed worker nests. But there we go. That's what we've got to work with. Didn't even give us any extra over there, did it? What a shame. So we got a couple out of that. Literally just a couple. So why is your plan your former carrier and significantly better than I have, people? In case you didn't already come to that conclusion on your own. So what I might do, just because we we have filled up our food stores, is I might just build an extra little food store over here. It's definitely not necessary, but um, may as well give them something to do, because they're just dropping food on the floor at the moment, look. In fact, I already built something over there. I probably could use that, couldn't I? Just open that up. Let's do that instead. That makes much more sense. Build a speed tile there. They've already started that now, so I'll let them finish. I know they're full. I am, in fact, I say I'm working on it. I could just do that now, couldn't I? 
I build a speed tile there, and then what I'll probably do actually, just to just for fun, just for fun, may as well build more food stores over there, right? May as well upgrade those as well while we're there, and all those. Anything else? Even speed tiles that I can upgrade. I don't think there is, is there? I do wish this was slightly easier to see. It gets a little cluttered with the upgrade tool. I'm not sure what you'd really do to make it much more obvious, but there must be some sort of design tip that you could take on board to uh, make it just a little clearer, because it's a little bit, a little bit chaotic at the moment. Oh, we'll do that. We haven't built our speed tile there yet, so we'll do that. And we'll upgrade that when that's built as well, just because we can. So we can now hold 6,000 food. Not sure why I can't upgrade the rest of those to level 3. I don't know, so I thought the speed tile was supposed to mean I could do those. I don't know, yeah, I'm a little confused there. Um, but there we go. That's about everything we can do. So they're going to happily go out there and... Oh, no, the food's all gone. They're not going to do anything, okay. Fair enough. In that case, we'll do one more thing, which is we're just going to bring all of our ants inside. If we, what, what we can actually do, in fact, is just turn off the pheromone markers. That'll do it. Let's bring all of our colony back inside and see them all together in one mass of 113 ants, I believe that is. Unless my mass is terrible, which is entirely likely, let's be honest. Here they all come, look, swarming the queen. What a wonderful sight that is. What a sight to behold. Is that all of them? That's all of them. <laughs> Look at that, that's class. All right then, well I'm gonna leave that there then. So I hope you enjoyed that little look at the Rising Tide challenge level. As always, let me know what you'd like to see next time. What are the other suggestions from the last video? Uh, free play, Queen of the Hill was the other one. Or of course there's the challenge mode on the other level. Is that Queen of the Hill? Yeah, there's a challenge mode of Queen of the, Queen of the Hill. So I could do that next time. It does just add in the same uh, tiger beetle larvae. But let me know if you'd like to see that as well, see how I cope with that. I can have another go at doing hard, but honestly, the last one just destroyed me. So I'll give it a go if you want, though. You know, no harm in trying, is there? No harm, no foul. So let me know down below what you'd like to see. Also, do let me know if there's anything else I've missed, like Lord of River Buffalo. Let me know that the challenge modes has completely escaped my attention for some reason. So yes. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do click the like button. Really appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already. And any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. As I say, particularly around what you'd like to see next time, it's always very nice to know. Don't forget we stream Wednesdays at 6pm playing Ghost of a Tale at the moment. So come along and say hello there if you fancy. It'd be wonderful to see some of you there. Otherwise, I'll see you next time in Empires of the Undergrowth. And as always, thank you very, very much for joining me.